channel. My name is Anne. It is great to meet you and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, today's video is just going to be on this green and orangey red eye makeup look. I know this seems very Christmassy, but I didn't think it was so green to wear it to the point where you couldn't just wear it out if you wanted to. Um, I felt really inspired to do this makeup look just because I've been playing around with a lot of, you know, kind of warm toned, like, not very interesting colors and I really wanted to try out doing a pop of green on the lids so if you want to see how I got this eye makeup look right here then just keep watching alrighty so starting off with primer I'm gonna take the Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine smoothing refiner for invisible pores and lines looks like this and taking a clean finger I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and and I just rub it on my face. I'm gonna take my Flower Beauty sponge and the foundations I'm gonna be using are the uh, BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation and the Boots Number no. 7 Lift and Illuminate Foundation. And I'm gonna take about two pumps of the BH Cosmetics foundation, maybe three because it doesn't dispense a whole lot on the back of my hand. And a pump of the, oh, running out so <laughs> a pump of the number seven i know that in my picture on instagram i said that i used the milani foundation but truthfully that foundation is way too dark for me even though i did try mixing it with a lighter foundation it just was way too yellow and too dark although it is a wonderful foundation um but i feel like that might be the lightest shade they have and it really was too dark even though you couldn't really tell in the picture um, so yeah, that's kind of why I'm not using that today, but I love the combination of these two foundations, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be using. <laughs> um, the number 7 Lift Illuminate foundation does just kind of add like a nice healthy glow, so I actually do mix it in with a lot of my other foundations. Um, although it's a little pricey, it is still drugstore, which I can appreciate, so... It's a good pickup and it's last the bottle has lasted me a really long time. Like I'm just finally starting to run out of it, so yeah. Yeah, I really love the finish of this foundation. It just looks so natural and nice. Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm so dumb. I just realized that I was totally gonna do my eyes first because it's kind of an intense eye look. And I forgot. Oh well. So this is a new concealer to me. I just used it for the first time yesterday, or no, two days ago. But this concealer is like legitimately so good and you should definitely pick it up if you can. This is the Sonia Kashuk Undercover Liquid Concealer. I'm in the shade Light. And it just kind of looks like this. It's pretty similar to the, um, is it the Maybelline concealer where it has a little sponge, but you guys don't want to talk about. So you just twist it and the product comes out like that. And this concealer just blends so nicely and it gives it you like the most natural full coverage look like I don't know why I haven't heard anybody else talk about this concealer but it is seriously like my most favorite thing in the world at this point <laughs> um, I honestly think I might like this even a little better than the Tarte Shape Tape which I know is like the cult favorite right now but this concealer is just so beautiful and it doesn't make my under eyes look dry, which is, I don't know why I put on so much concealer. <laughs> but it doesn't make your under eyes look dried out whatsoever, even with powder on top. Like, it just looks so natural and yet so full coverage. It's just the most beautiful, beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I actually haven't tried out hardly any Sonia Kashuk products before, so I was so happy that this worked out for me. Um, Target was having like a huge Sonia Kashuk sale when I went in so I picked up just a couple things but yeah so far so good this concealer is so bomb also if I sound a little congested I think it's because I am um I'm not sick but my nose just gets so stuffy and runny so easily and especially when I'm concentrating on my makeup like it just like runs and then my voice sounds weird and you get the drill but yeah it's a little frustrating sometimes so I'm just gonna pat out those under eye lines real quick just to make sure that everything is nice and blended and then I'm gonna take the this is also new to me this is the Sonia Kashuk 
undetectable pressed powder. This is also in the shade light. And I'm just going to have to take an e.l.f. Um, e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. blush brush, but I use it for setting. And this powder is actually really, really nice. Like, it doesn't have a white cast. It doesn't make your under eyes look all cakey or anything like that. Uh, for brows, I pretty much always use the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade. I'm in the shade Brunette. I, I was going to say taupe, but it's brunette. Um, and this is pretty much all I've been doing lately. I just take this little eyebrow brush, I guess, from Catrice, I believe. I don't know if they still sell this, but I got this forever ago, and it's a really good little brow brush if you can find it. I think I bought it online on Ulta. Um, but yeah. Oh. One other thing I do is I take a spoolie before I fill in my brows, and I brush them all upward. My brows are kind of thin, so, you know, they need a little help, need a little fill in, nothing wrong with that. And I pretty much, I start at like the middle, I just kind of do little lines and work my way to the front of the brow. And then in the front area, I just kind of push these little hairs upward with the color. That way they kind of just look a little more defined. Okay, they definitely aren't perfect, but I don't really care anymore at this point. So anyway, then I just take my spoolie again and I just brush those hairs upward again and just kind of blend out the product. It's kind of all I do for now. Um, and then in a bit, we're going to go in with like some brow gel and kind of get a more um, groomed looking. I'm gonna take the Cody Airspun powder and I'm gonna dump a little bit of this into the cap and I'm gonna kind of press some powder underneath my eyes just so that way I can wipe away any fallout from the eyeshadow we're gonna be doing. Which I really didn't wanna have to do this but I went ahead and started on my foundation before thinking so. This powder is pretty strongly scented, just so you know, so that is something to keep in mind if you do buy it, but it is a good powder, so, you know. The palette I'm going to be using is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. Um, these just have really good colors in them. The only downside to this palette is it doesn't have a mirror, so I'm still going to be having to kind of simultaneously use two mirrors, which is a little difficult, but we'll see if we can make it work. So, starting out in the palette, I'm going to take this kind of fleshy colored shade right here on a fluffy brush, and I'm going to use this as my transition color. You know the drill. I'm going to be running that through my crease, kind of high up actually. We want to take the colors just a little higher throughout the crease because the green we're going to be doing, like, it's, just, it's gonna make sense in a bit. Okay, so anyway. So yeah, don't be afraid to take them too high. It may look a little funny at first, but it'll make sense. Now that we got our transition shade down, I'm gonna take a dot of concealer on my eyes. And I'm just gonna kind of put it there, just right in the center. And then I'm gonna kind of like look up a little bit, like and then see where it kind of, see that kind of dot up at the top. We're going to blend that out and we're probably going to put the green about to where the concealer line ends because if we don't do that then everything's going to kind of just blend together and it's going to look really muddy throughout the crease, at least that's what happened to me the first time I did this look. So I'm going to try and prevent that a little bit and yeah, so I'm going to kind of just tap out that concealer. Just like that. So then you're going to have a little bit of a halo of a concealer right through there, which is totally fine. Truthfully, I don't quite know what I'm doing, but I'm going to pretend that I do. So, <laughs> alrighty, this is the same brush that I used from the previous look, so we're just going to continue on with this dirty brush. Doesn't really matter since I'm using the same color. 
And we're gonna take this beautiful turquoisey greenish color down here, greenish bluish. And I'm not wetting my brush or anything for this. And I'm just gonna tap that off. And we're gonna pack it on to everywhere that we put the concealer pretty much. Mostly down below the concealer and then we're gonna kind of drag it up to where that was. I really want the shadow to stick to my lid, which is why I did not set my concealer. I just went in really quickly with this blue shade to kind of set it down. So that's why I did not set it, because it's pretty much acting as a little primer right in this area. Once you feel like you look a little insane, I think that means you're doing a good job. Now that we got that down, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye and I will be right back. Okay, so now that I'm back and I have both of the green done on the eyes, we're going to go ahead and move into more of the crease shades now and kind of blend out that harsh green edge that's going on because it just doesn't look too cute right now. So yes, yeah, so we're going to do that. And the first shades that I'm gonna take for this are gonna be this orangey shade and the shade right next to it, which is kind of a burnt orangey shade. Um, on the same brush that we used for the crease, no biggie. And I'm gonna take a little bit more of that orange because I kind of do want a bit more of that orange transition check color, so. And yeah, we're just gonna kind of run that right over the edge of that green that we put down just to kind of soften everything up and blend that out. And I'm also, I'm not rounding out the corners too much right through here. I'm kind of like leaving the transition color a little further up. Um, I don't really want to round the edges too much on this because I kind of want it to have like a blown out kind of wing look almost. Then I'm going to take a pretty densely packed blending brush and I'm gonna go in with this really dark dark green right here and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that because it's very very pigmented <laughs> and we're gonna kind of stamp this right on the outer V just to kind of add a little bit more definition right through there and we're gonna blend that out and this also helps the line right through here to look a lot more normal. <laughs> and then you can kind of just go back in however much you want with your crease color brush and just kind of blend those edges out as much as you feel necessary. Or with a clean brush, that works too, but you know me, I'm about that lazy life, so. I did steal that concealer technique from Nicole Guerrero. She's the one who um, first demonstrated that on her channel, so definitely go check out her channel. She has so many good makeup tips, but yeah, that technique was from her. Just getting that out of the way. <laughs> And then I'm going to take a kind of smaller blending brush. I think I'm going to kind of mix a bit of this kind of pukey shade. I'm pretty sure it's literally called pukey. And I'm going to tap into that red, brown, orangey, reddish shade and this shade over here. So these one, two, and three right there. Tap that off and I'm going to run that. I'm going to kind of just start right in the center right here. I'm kind of just very, I'm using a very light hand for this and I'm just going to kind of lightly run that across the top of those other colors. Just add a little bit more of a smoky red, red look because I feel like the orange wasn't really popping as much as I wanted it to and I still wanted a different color right through there so yeah. Just starting right in the center above the green and just kind of very lightly dusting that across through here.
so I'm pretty happy with how the eyes are looking so far, but I am going to do one last thing, which is take my finger and use this kind of blue, shimmery, blue-green shade. And I'm going to run that right on top of the green we put down, because this is the prettiest pop of color that you will ever see. And it just really like livens up the look a lot, and it's just such a beautiful shade. And I think I am going to actually take a shader brush and wet it. This is the same one that I used for concealer. I'm just using a bit of the Ofra fixing spray, but you can use water or whatever you got on hand. Really pack that on a lot more. Yeah, this is something you can do if you want, um, is just take a kind of clean shadow brush and this is actually a bit more of a harsh brush, if that makes sense. This is the Morphe M441, and I feel like this brush is a little stabby, almost. But in a weird way, I feel like it's good for like picking up shadow and blending out any harsh lines. And I'm just kind of running that right across the top of the shadow. Because I did put it really close to my eyebrows, but <laughs> oh well. I am going to highlight my inner corners with the lightest two shades in the palette on a little pencil brush. And we're going to just highlight the inner corners and the brow bone. Yeah, I feel like once you add a little bit of brow bone highlight, it makes the world of difference with how the shadow looks and how close I put it with to my eyebrow, so. I'm gonna go ahead and take that powder brush that I used to set my under eyes from before, and I'm gonna dust away all of that powder that we set there. And the thing I love about the Cody Airspun is it really, it just kind of sits there and it doesn't dry out your under eyes so much where it just looks awful once you're done with it. Um, and I think a lot of it did end up sinking in my skin so there's not a whole lot to brush off, but it definitely did help to control that fallout so yep looking good okay i'm gonna go ahead and put on some lashes and liner real quick and i will be right back okay so i just finished doing my liner and lashes and as you can see things are looking a lot less crazy um for liner i used the sonia kashuk uh black diamond longwear eyeliner in my tight line and i used the nyx matte liquid liner um, for my wings and I used the kiss lashes in the style ritzy for my eyelashes so that's now that you're all caught up <laughs> for the lower lash line I am just gonna take this shade on a little small blending brush I'm gonna take the pukey shade again and I'm gonna run that along my bottom lash line real quick Oh my god, my eyes start watering so bad when I start doing that. <laughs> okay. And then I'm just going to add some lower lower lash mascara. I'm using the um, Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. This is just a pretty good mascara if you ask me. It's like $3. So if you're just using it for your bottom lashes, I don't think it needs to be very expensive. But, you know, don't much. Thank you. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but please ignore the mascara smudge right there. That will be gone in a bit, or maybe it won't. I don't care that much, so. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of the face. I'm gonna take that same Sonia Kashuk powder again, and I'm just gonna set my forehead a little bit. Um, I think the rest of my face is pretty okay, but my forehead is where I get a little bit oily. Although for the most part, I'm a pretty dry person. <laughs> set my eyebrows with the elf um, brow gel because we said that we were gonna do that and I always do this so you know keep them hairs in place I'm gonna take the Tarte <clears throat> well my voice is dying I'm gonna take the P Tarte Park Avenue Princess and I'm taking the bronzer shade right here and it's really, really pigmented, so be careful. And I'm gonna use that to bronze up, whoa, okay. 
Need a better mirror for that. <laughs> I'm gonna take that and just bronze up my skin and contour a little bit. I believe this brush is from a kit from that I got from Vanity Planet and it is the softest brush in the world. It's so nice. So this palette looks a little crazy right now. Um, I think I just need to pop them out and re-glue them, but this is the BH Cosmetics Nude Blush 10 Color Blush Palette, and see what I mean? Like, what, what, what happened here? <laughs> um, but it is a really great palette. It's got some beautiful blushes in it. This is like literally all you will ever need. I picked this up because Raw Beauty Christie kept talking about it, and I was like, all right, well, I guess I'll get it. Um, I think I'm just going to take this kind of peachy shade right here. Some of these shades, honestly, to me, like, don't really look like blushes. They're just very beigey and boring, but they actually have really good peachy pigment. So, yeah, be careful because they are a lot more pigmented than you may think. <laughs> but, yeah, for how cheap BH Cosmetics is, I love uh, so much of their um makeup line like it's just so good their eyeshadows are bomb this blush palette is bomb and hopefully it shows up on camera but i'm going to be using this highlight palette which i've been holding this whole time it is the most stunning thing i have ever used in my life <laughs> this is the real technique setting brush i'm going to take a little bit of this peachy shade this gold shade and this kind of white pearl shade tap it off kind of a lot and we're just gonna highlight. Like it just, oh my gosh, it just, it doesn't look chalky or anything. It's not too glittery. It's really not actually glittery at all. Like it's just such a beautiful highlighting palette. And I mean, if you have darker skin tones, like these shades I'm sure are beautiful. It's just such a good palette. <laughs> Like, yes, honey. And I'm gonna put it down my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin a little bit. And just a little bit on my forehead. I don't really like my forehead to look too shiny. So we're gonna kind of leave that alone. And now that we are glowing to the max, we're gonna go ahead and set I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Ofra Makeup Fixer Setting Spray. And I always use a lot of it. The first time I did this look, I did line my waterline with this Jordana 12 hour liquid eyeliner pencil in espresso. Um, I didn't really feel like darkening up the look that much today, so I just kind of left it bare, but you can do that if you want. Up to you, you know, the, everybody's different with how they like it. I just decided to kind of leave it alone and just do the lower lash line with some eyeshadow, but <clears throat> I did like the way this looked. It just was a bit too dark for me today, so skipped that part. But yeah, <clears throat> I cannot believe I almost forgot lips. Um, I'm going to keep it pretty basic today, and I'm just going to be using the Soap & Glory Sexy Mother Pucker uh, Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Bare Enough. And we're just going to use some of that. And there you have it. But yeah, that completes this makeup look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you do try out this look, please tag me in it. I would love to see how you create this look and what it would look like on you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And I do not have a mirror. Like, I don't have a standing mirror, so just gonna kind of stare into the camera while I massage this in my face. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to feel like a shining avocado? Well, now you